Well, the news this week that the U.S. will begin normalizing relations with Cuba has historic implications. But for one New Hampshire man, it's much more personal as he has witnessed the struggles of the small country and, like others, very anxious to see what happens in the new chapter. Cubans have always done, I think, a very good um, job of distinguishing between the U.S. foreign policy and American culture. And Mark Pendleton should know, as the Reverend of the Episcopal Church in Exeter has made no less than eight missionary trips to the island. In fact, he says the church was really Cuba's connection to much of the world for the last half century. It's been a lifeline for this very isolated country, and now, hopefully through these changes, we'll be able to draw closer to a diocese that used to be a part of the American Episcopal Church. In March, the Reverend will return to Cuba with 17 granite staters to upgrade water filtration in a country that's been plagued with cholera. Just bringing the gift of clean drinking water will make an impact in the lives of the people, and they need that now. They really can't wait for a lot of these things to evolve. And while the country has struggled under an oppressive government, Reverend Pendleton says the perception of Cuba is often clouded with imagery of an iron curtain. I think the assumption for many Americans is that, that it is like going to to Moscow, uh, to Russia, and then they get there and there's a definite Caribbean feel. Uh, people do not walk around sad. And like so many people, the Reverend is eager to see what the winds of change will bring. I really do think in five, ten years, uh, we'll look back on yesterday's events and, and really see uh, the beginning of, of, of great change. <laughs>